Okay, now I look for the National. Remove the knobs from the front, and judging by how the chassis was flopping around, I think it's ready to come out. Kind of heavy. Right away, you can see it's got some corrosion. And I think all the tubes might be gone except the pitcher tube. Cover of the high voltage box is missing. It's a common enough thing to see. It's a copper plated chassis originally. And nothing in the cabinet except this. This was making the noise. Big sheet of insulating material, I guess. Well, I noticed some differences right away compared to the other National TV7 I restored. And that is, it's got a transformer up there, and no selenium rectifier, dropper resistor, or line voltage select switch. Well, I had read and seen online mention of a transformer version, and also the tubes are different. This has six SN7s, whereas the other one had 12 SN7s. Also, I uh, seem to be missing some electrolytic filter caps. <laughs> uh, for sure there should have been one here, and as memory serves, the other one had like three here. Uh, hmm. That's certainly kind of odd. Looks like, yeah, same. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not remembering things right. Uh, similar goofy power supply though, with the 5V4 and a 6X. Uh, well, maybe not quite as goofy. The other one was Alex that had a voltage uh, doubler and a tripler in it, and I think it both a positive and a negative supply. So it had a selenium rectifier and. Uh, uh, an odd assortment of rectifier tubes. And there's a look down in the high voltage box. Even the high voltage rectifier tubes are gone, but it uh, looks like the coil could very well be okay. The guy I got this from uh, seemed to think it was just good for parts, but uh, I'd certainly like to try to restore it. It's, just, it's got the, it's the transformer version. Sure, what this is all about. Maybe these two, oh, these two probably went together. For some reason, the speaker wires were cut. Well, I don't know. Nope, 7 JP4 is good. Let's take a peek underneath. Ah, there's where the electrolytics are. So, for sure, there had been one here at some point, which is gone. And the rest are just crammed in wherever. We got a couple here. And bunch down here, one disconnected. This is kind of a mess here. No doubt somebody was working on this. Never finished the job. Here's a little more light. Should help out. Fuzz, maybe there was a critter living in here at some point. Well, this looks quite restorable uh, to me, assuming this is still good. And even if it's not, I imagine a replacement could be tracked down. It's close enough. What I'm a little bummed by, though, is that uh, I'm not happy with the performance of my other set. The sink is very touchy. And I was hoping to compare it to this set, but it's, it's quite different. Uh, aside from the AC supply, um, the other changes, I can see some work has been done in here. So, eh. you know, I'll compare what I can. Hopefully, uh, can shed some light on the other set. Yeah, this seems rather odd to me how this was set up. I don't know if this is right. So, some of the knobs that came with this were for the, from the uh, the wood version. They're brown knobs, and the channel selector kind of came apart in two pieces. 
and this was stuck inside the cabinet and then there's this weird bit of rubber here so I don't know I don't know what's going on oh yeah this is definitely not original because the fine tuning knob is supposed to engage this gear up here <laughs> and obviously we got a little problem here uh, that rubber bushing sure isn't making contact with anything hmm well don't worry about that when I work on it otherwise yeah, I think um, caps like this Sangamo and this guy down here, I think these are new They're replacements. Old, but replacements. The other set was pretty much all original, and I restuffed the caps, and they were all either Aerovox yellow paper guys or these metalized paper caps. And these, I believe, are paper caps hiding inside of plastic or Bakelite box. I did not have these in the other set. And these are only original high voltage type caps. That's curious. I don't know if that's original or not, but uh, didn't see in the other set around the schematic. High voltage bleeder resistors. This cap thrown in there. Right, reduce noise. Let's see some screws have been removed from this. Again, more evidence somebody abandoned restoring it. That's interesting. <laughs> I seriously doubt this dog bone is original. Those went out uh, in the 30s. That first time I've seen one on the TV from the 40s, though, okay, repairman used what they had. Well, it worked well enough, why not use it?